Hey, what's going on, people? I'm reporting to you live from my front seat. Anyways, um, this will be my first of many <laughs> Instagram, YouTube, whatever channel this is on. Rants, right? I'm not gonna say this is on like a, a rant where I'm gonna get crazy loud and start yelling and shit like that, but all in all, it's a rant. I'm gonna say, I've been having these thoughts in my mind for, I mean, weeks, months, uh, the entire year, truthfully. And the one thing I want to start out with is discipline. Um, I've come across many people in my lifetime. I'm only, only 27, but I've come across many people that have told me, you know, I wish I could be like you. I wish I could have the same discipline you have. I, I wish I could do it. I wish I could do it. I wish I could do it. And, you know, recently I've been talking about it's really big how you talk to yourself, right? The conversation you have with yourself is the most important conversation, point blank period, right? Because not only does it affect the relationship you have with yourself, but it also affects the relationship you have with other people. Because if you're not having a quality conversation with yourself, do you think you're going to have a quality conversation with somebody else? Probably not, right? I just had probably one of the most enlightening conversations I've had in a while with a complete stranger. Her name is Shauna. Uh, she's from University of Kentucky. Shout out to them thoroughbreds. Right? I'm a Albany State Ram by trade, right? But I could care less. You know what? I'm not saying like I could care less, but I don't care what school she came from. I'm not judging her based off of her past, right? In that moment, we had a really genuine conversation. She's new to Atlanta, new to Georgia. Um, only been here three or four days, right? So me just, especially since I've been reading that book, Fierce Conversations, which I'll show you right here. I was talking about the other day. Fierce Conversations. Um, there's a really profound line that Susan Scott used in that, in that book. The line was, every conversation that you have is really with yourself. Sometimes it involves other people, right? So even during that conversation that I was having with her, I was still technically having a conversation with myself, right? Because I'm asking her questions, I'm saying things that I might have already thought about internally, but I just haven't vocalized, right? And the question I'm asking her, I'm asking her questions not for her benefit, more for my benefit and vice versa. The questions she asked me, the answers I gave, do they benefit me at all? No, I'm helping her along her journey the same way she's helping me, she helped me along my journey, right? I mean, this conversation was really profound. All right, but back to the discipline thing. Discipline, not only does it build character, not only does it build strength, confidence, all that good stuff. It really shows people how serious how serious you are about life in general, right? <clears throat> now we all know every day's not guaranteed, right? But we live in a time where more days are guaranteed than not, right? I mean, the average life expectancy, um, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it should be somewhere around 90 to 100 years old. Um, it's probably landed somewhere between 75 and 85. But even still, that's like 30 to 40 years longer than people were living on average, you know, 100, 150 years ago. And not just because we've advanced as a society um, and stuff like that, quality of life has changed. That stuff does have an effect on it. But also, the way we think about things, the way we go about things, right? We're a lot more, in my mind, a lot more cautious about the things we're doing and a lot more thoughtful about how things are going to have an impact on our life. Like, yeah, I will say, we're a lot softer than those people 50 to 100 years ago, myself included. But I mean, I would never go to war just because I felt like it was my duty. I don't feel like that's my duty. My purpose is not to go to war. My purpose is to be here, contribute to life, contribute to other people, add value to the world um, the best way I see, I see fit, right? If we really think about it, God wouldn't have brought any of us into this world if we didn't provide some type of value to the world. Point blank period. I mean, it's, not, it's straightforward, that simple. Right, I mean, as as iron sharpens sharp as iron, so does a friend sharpen a friend. Right, Proverbs twenty seven. I may not quote that correctly, but it's real deal. Like we live in a world now where it's too common to lie to each other. Um, now, I'm not saying I've never lied to somebody. I've lied to many people, um, but you know, as we grow, we learn. Right, Shauna said that. Shout out, Shauna. All right, as we grow, we learn. So as I grow become the person you know I was destined to become 
whether you believe in destiny or not, that's another that's another story. Uh, because at the end of the day, all of us are God, right? We are made in His image to be like Him and be of Him. We came from Him, so why not be that way? Especially when in our conversation with other people, why not be so honest that it's almost uncomfortable for that person? Right? I had a conversation this morning um, with the person. I'm sure for them it was very um, uncomfortable. I mean, so uncomfortable to the point that they asked me for an apology. And I told them straight forward, I'm like, look, man, I was being honest with you. I don't have anything to apologize for. If anything, <clears throat> you need to apologize for me, to me, for not being fucking honest. Like, and I told them that in the, in the conversation. I'm like, look, man, I'll be honest. You're not being honest with me, which means you're definitely not being honest with yourself, right? Like, it's, just straight, it's just that simple. Like, you're telling me X, Y, and Z, and I'm telling you I call bullshit. Right, but how uncomfortable is that? How uncomfortable is it for somebody to call you out on your own bullshit that you know you're doing, right? There's another person in my life that I know. Love them to death. They're get, they've been getting caught on their bullshit constantly for the past three or four days. And it happens every six to 12 weeks for sure for them. And it's like, aren't you tired of being confronted about your shit, right? I mean, you know, Andre said it. <laughs> Roses smell like boo-boo, man, okay? Like, all that bullshit you talking, that shit don't walk. Right? It doesn't walk, right? But the biggest things are going to be, be honest with yourself. Make sure that your internal dialogue is going the way you feel like it needs to be going. You know? Like, the stories you tell yourself, the things you do, we're the, end of, we're the beginning and the end of ourselves. Point blank period, right? You get yourself in situations that put your life in danger, whose fault is it really? It's yours, right? I mean, yes, there's those freak accidents that happen. Yeah, 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 whatever, right? But I'm sure if you really look back through that person's, if we could see that person's mental conversation leading back up to those moments, I'm not gonna say they cause their own demise, but a lot of times we cause our own demise by not being mindful about the conversation we have with ourselves. Right? Because the conversation you have with yourself is, 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 is set up and filed where in your subconscious. Your subconscious does what? It helps you act out what you've been thinking and feeling about, right? I've been thinking about this right here since 5 a.m. Like really since about 4, 4.15, 4.30. So I got up this morning. I've been thinking about this conversation. How I'm going to go about it. What I'm going to say. How I need to plan it. And I'll tell you the guy honest truth. I don't remember a fucking thing that I told myself I was going to say. I remember the key points. Right? But I've had this conversation in my head probably 10 or 15 times. Now, how many times have you had the conversation in your head that you want to have with somebody else? 10, 15, 20, 25 times. And then it comes time for the conversation, you say something completely different. I'm sure it's happened a lot because we can't plan those conversations. If I try to predict what somebody's going to say or do, all I'm doing is presetting myself to respond. I don't want to be that way. I'd much rather respond in the moment. Right, I much rather respond with a clear conscience, knowing that I haven't dwelled on this conversation. So that word right there, dwell. What what things are you dwelling on day to day? Are you dwelling on things that are only gonna negate what you're trying to achieve? Like I hear it often from people that aren't confident in themselves. I can't do this, I can't do that. Ah, this is gonna be painful for me. That's not gonna work for me. I can't do that. But at the same time they're complaining about results they're not getting. Well, the things that you keep saying you can't do are probably the reason you're not getting what you want. You know? The things you keep playing about. And it, I mean, the same goes for me. Like, I'm no different than you. You're no different than me. I mean, yeah, the, the things that the world give us, financials and stuff like that, they make you different on the surface. But at, at our core, are we really that much different? No. So, like I said in the, in a minute ago, the conversations that you have with yourself are the most important, right? All the conversations that you have are with yourself and sometimes they can they involve other people, right? <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna end it right there. I could go on forever about this topic, but if you got any comments, questions, concerns, you wanna talk about it face-to-face, one, -face, one on one, hey, shoot me a text, shoot me a call, whatever. Um, hit me up on Instagram, um, hybrid athletics underscore fitness, also king underscore John Montana. That's a me page about me. All right, but either way, 
pray y'all have a great day. I pray this helped you in some type of way, form or fashion. I'm finna go grocery shopping, all right? Peace.